Today we're going to talk about how to delete subscribed events on calendars for the iPhone. Now, a big reason you may need to do this is you received a calendar invite, you accepted it, and it's driving you crazy and keeps popping up. Or you could have clicked on something on a website and it brought up a pop-up and it actually installed a calendar event, which is basically like a mini virus just annoying you. It's not actually a virus, but it can get very annoying. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to unsubscribe to that, how to delete it, and also make sure that you didn't actually get a virus on the iPhone. We'll take it one step forward just to make sure you're safe and no one's watching everything you do. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, tutorials, and all that fun stuff, please do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. We would love to have you. With that said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. I'm sure you're interested on in how to do this. So when we're on the main screen, what we're gonna do is look for settings, and we're gonna go ahead and choose that. Now in settings, we're gonna scroll down and we're looking for passwords and accounts. Let's go ahead and choose that. Now I have a whole lot of accounts, so I'm gonna scroll down. And here at the end, I went up and I subscribed to a calendar just so I can show you how to do this. So I subscribed here, and if you did click on something, it will say subscribed calendar or event, or it could say anything. But basically, it won't be one of your email addresses. So with that, we're going to go ahead and choose it. And it's going to bring us here. This is an astronomy calendar. I just picked it for, you know, why not? So I'll go ahead and choose it again. And here the information is going to come up on the account. Now, if we want to remove it, what we want to do is choose delete account. You'll know that it's here. Go ahead and choose delete account. Go ahead and choose delete account again. Now don't go anywhere because we want to make sure everything else is okay. So we'll go ahead and go back in the settings. And now there's one other thing we want to check. So if it was a pop-up on when you're browsing the internet that brought you this, sometimes they'll say fix this virus, you know, by clicking here. And it's going to go through and install what's called a profile on your phone. Now, if you have a profile on your phone, that can do basically whatever it wants because you're giving it full access to your phone and setting it up. So it's definitely something you don't want to happen unless you trust the place. Basically, you don't want to use this unless there's no other choice. So this is how people do stuff without being in the app store. They say, okay. I have an app, but it's not in the app store. It was never approved here. You can do it this way and then you can do it. So let's scroll up and we're looking for general. We're going to go and choose general. Once we're in general, we're going to scroll down and we're looking for profile. So you can see I have a profile. Let's go ahead and tap on it. Now, this is my actual domain profile this is my email address. So I don't want to delete this, but I'm going to show you how to delete it so you know how to take care of it. So what I would do is select it. So if you have anything in here, that means you gave permission to it. So if there's anything in here, make sure it's something that you approved. If it is not, you want to get rid of it. Because if not, you shouldn't even have profiles at all under general. Profiles should just not be there. But if you have it, that means you have something installed. Let me go ahead and select it. And here you can see remove profile. So all I would do is choose remove profile and then it would probably verify to make sure I want to remove it. After it's removed, I would go back into profile, make sure it's empty or profiles not showing up. And then you're completely safe to make sure there are no viruses in the phone. Now, before I go through and let you go, there is another video that I made about some apps that actually do have malware in the software. And Apple has taken care of these, but unfortunately, if you already downloaded them, you could have a virus on your phone. I'm going to go ahead and link the video at the end of this one so you can check it out. And I also want to thank you so much for the view.